Hey guys, Jeremy here at My Way MFG. I'm gonna get these floor pins welded in to where they're not moving around and uh, try to finish that off somewhat. But what I'd really like to get done today is before the end of the video, I'd like to kind of have this transmission tunnel figured out. And uh, that's what we're gonna be working on today. See if we can get that down and we can weld everything in tight get all of our holes drilled for our bolts, all that. Next video, hopefully start working on those rocker panels, maybe a couple more small floor patches, but we'll do those at the same time as the rockers because they're right there on the edge beside them. Um, then we'd be ready for some seam sealer, some primer and paint, right guys? So anyway, uh, I'm gonna spend a little time out here today and just see if I can figure this transmission tunnel out. So let's get started. I just laid down this floor pan and I I pushed it down and I scribed it in with the grinder. I'm gonna pull it back out now and cut along that line. And then I ought to have a pretty good butt joint. I'm right in the center, center of my front seat bolt once again, just like I was over here. So uh, that's good. So I'm gonna pull this out of here now and uh, finish cutting that. This brace on this side is still hanging in there. It's in a lot better shape than the other side. I'm not sure how to address that just yet. I don't know whether to leave it or take it out. Probably take it out just so it's the same on both sides. It's not great. I mean, it's not great condition, but it's, <coughs> it is there. I'm just going to do this side the same way as i done that side. Uh, why not? You know, it's better than this, I think. Um, anyway. I was saying in the last video that these bolts didn't go through the floor here. I believe they do. These up here, I don't think do. I think these terminate underneath the floor. It's just a rubber pad the floor sets on. I think these are supposed to come clear up through the floor because it looks like I've got a piece of old floor pan captured under that. It was hard for me to tell exactly how that all went because it was all so messed up, you know. But uh, I guess it really doesn't matter too much as long as I get everything solid. It don't matter too much how they had it before because I'm not putting in the same stuff they had before anyway. But it does give me to wondering if maybe I ought to drill these clear through 
and put a bolt through them. And uh, at this point, I'm kind of thinking maybe I will. But uh, we'll circle back to that. And uh, these, this hair, I'm going to put a bolt back through. That's going to bolt through the top of the rocker. And I got the bolt through here. I do think maybe I ought to go ahead and, and bolt that through. I thought it was just going to set on a rubber pad there. And what I did on the other side, I just welded a washer to the top of the, the post. I ground the head off of the bolt. So I laid a washer on top of the rubber and then just welded a washer to the post. So the floor pan was setting on it. <coughs> Got me rethinking that now, you know. See, here guys, there is one of those rubber pads there that does not have a bolt through the top. The floor pan just sets on it. That's the pad on the other side that I set my piece of eighth inch on. I slid it up under that and set it on top of the rubber pad. And then I put the bend in it to come up here with the plug weld on each side. I'll do the exact same thing here. I'll overlap it here and then get a bolt back through here. But uh, my bolt might not be in exactly the same place as it was before, but uh, that's okay. I'll just peel this pad up and move it. But uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. that laid out like we did on the other side got it uh, clamped in it's it's up on top of the rubber overlapping the frame so I can drill drill through here when I get the rocker on I'll drill through everything slightest rubber over a little bit I don't know if it was like that on the other side or not I have to check <clears throat> seems like it would have been because both sides are looking pretty well the same but uh that's okay I'll just drill the hole back a little bit I think I think I can anyway Hey, I gotta tell you guys, uh, I just bought this welder when I started welding up Eliza here. The one I had before was, uh, oh, it was about 20 years old and it was a cheap one. And uh, this thing works so much better. I would recommend one of these to anybody. This thing just works flawlessly. I love it. where I'm at right now guys I was gonna show that I forgot to turn the camera on but anyway I got that tacked onto the floor I'm not gonna go any further in this direction because I might cut a piece right there and extend that out a little bit but yeah that's where we're at Let's see if we can get this plug well done That got her. Tunnel was just a little bit thin right there. But it worked out. I got all the plug welds started over there. I got four or five more to do. That's getting done. I got it welded around the cow. Uh, this side over here, it's all welded up. I got primer drying. I noticed one more thing I need to do. This, this ledge here where the floor pan sets right here was rotted off. This piece here, this piece here still looks okay. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to weld this in here real quick. So I got something to put a couple plug welds on. Uh, I ground off all the jagged stuff underneath. Got it cleaned up good enough. 
I'm just gonna try to get some spots along there, and that's real thin, but uh, I'll get it the best I can, you know? Try to get a weld back down in here. This um, clutch pedal's hitting right here, so I'm gonna have to grind that back a little bit, but I'll do it after I get it. I'll do it after I get it on. But uh, as soon as that's done, I think we can drop the floor pan in. All right, I got that burned up in there. Made a little clearance there for that to work. Ground it out a little bit so it can't possibly hit on either side. Uh, spray a little primer on that maybe, but uh, getting ready to drop the floor pan in, guys. cut this off of the front of the old one as I look at this guys it looks like if I could remake this piece and put it in just make it longer so it comes clear down to uh to where my toe boards were and then I'll put a I'll grind it out like this and then the next piece of the tunnel will just be straight cut in an angle on the front and butt into that. This fits like this all except I need to make the side flanges longer, which I can do in a break. So I think I might just trace this onto a piece of metal, but make it however much longer it needs to be. Try to get this piece kind of in place, and then I can work on this back here. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is just flatten this out so it's flat and then I can trace it and then put the bends back in afterwards. Yeah. was going to try to do it on paper first, but I'm just going to trace it on the metal one. I can tell I'm about where I need to be with it, so I'm going to flatten this piece here out so I can trace it better. Okay, I know my flanges weren't quite long enough, so I'm just going to make them an inch longer and then trim them back later. All right, that's what we got right now, guys. I gotta get that cut out. It's gonna have a real gentle curve in it. And then I gotta get these bends made on the sides. And then we'll test fit it in there. 
kind of start trimming it up, see if we can get it close, you know. So uh, that's where we're at. I put all the bends in here, just using a vise. I've kind of got the same curve back into it somewhat. You can see it better from this side. But here in a minute, I'm gonna start fitting this piece in here. It's gonna get like a, it's gonna get like a C notch up here, I think where it comes down on the transmission. And then after all that's done, the other piece ought to be a straight piece of tunnel. It'll have an angle cut on the front to meet up with this, but the next piece might not be too bad if I can get this piece to fit right. So anyway, if we carry it over here, I don't know if you guys could see that, but there's a lot of fitting left to do, but that's where, that's where we're getting to with it, so. It looks like my downward bends are too much. We'll have to see what we can do with that. Got my initial fit on that piece. I'm trying to figure out how to make the transition from here to here. I think I'm gonna have to do a little cutting on this one to get this one to fit right. So I'm gonna take this out, try a few things. It's the worst that can happen, right? Just would have to make another one if I screw it up. So uh, we're gonna see where we get with it here. All right, guys, I was having trouble getting this uh, tunnel figured out. So I had to slow down for a minute, stop and think about what was going on. And uh, let me show you what I found here. All right, this top piece I made, it's fitting good. I'm happy with all that, but where I screwed up, when I started doing these, uh, this double bend up here, down and then this way, I continued that bend clear down to the end, down and then this way. What I should have done was fade that bend out to nothing. It should have started here like it does and then just faded down like this. So by the time I got down here, I just had a, a flat piece with a notch in it for the transmission. And then the round tunnel could have come up and just butted into it. Because right now there is no way to make a round tunnel go into a square corner. So I need to get rid of the square corner on each side. And I think the easiest way to do that is split this right here, bend this up, weld it back on 
on both sides and then cut this corner back off. And I might have to do a little more notch in here, but I can get a flat piece clear down to here that way. And then this can just come up a real sharp slice in it and then weld down. So, uh, yeah, that's where I'm at with it, guys. But otherwise, it's looking okay. It's, it's all gonna work out. I just gotta, I just gotta figure this out a little more here. Uh, then we'll go from there. That's my idea, guys, to get that, get that like that. It was like that. I need to get it like that on both sides. And I can trim off this excess after I get it welded. I think that's where I screwed up. I think if I can get this, I think I'll be all right. So we're gonna try that. That's where I'm at now, guys. Maybe I just weld it there and leave it like that. Yeah. Carpet probably wouldn't look right. I'll try to do a little trim in here and see if I can get it down a little. I've got this so it tapers down now and uh, I don't have such a hard corner here to deal with. I think I can, I think I can make that work now. Uh, Probably would have been better if it was completely flat, but I think I can do something with that. Uh, I guess first thing I need to do here is get the back down. And if I, if I take this measurement here, I'm gonna be going to the bottom of that. It's about two inches. So I think I'll, Put a mark here at two inches. Mark on the other side at two inches. in that. Probably about a two and a half inch rise in it. I'll start this bend here at a half an inch. I'm just gonna have to weld pieces in there because this isn't gonna be long enough. going to get cut back so that's going to help. I doubt if it gets cut back too much though. I don't know if I can do them in the break or not. Take that home. See if I can put it in a break. I'm just not sure. It might go. 
be worth a shot. It'd be hard to bend in a vise. We're gonna try it. Just barely went, but it's gonna work. So that's good, right guys? I don't know guys. I got my rise on it that I wanted. And uh, the tunnel opening just looks small to me though. I'm not sure that's gonna fit. We'll take it over in a minute and try it. And then this flange, you know, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to weld something on there and extend it out because it's not enough, but that's just what I had on that size piece of metal. But uh I can make that work as long as this diameter is right here. It just looks small to me, but uh, hopefully not. And then if all of that goes well, if all of that goes well, this is just gonna get a real sharp slice in it right down like that. So it meets up to that tow board. And then by the time I get in here, See, my flange isn't so small. I might not have to add too much, but I do think I'll have to add some. But uh, I'm gonna get a cup of coffee here, head back over in a minute and we'll see. Wish me luck, guys. <coughs> but guys, I'm gonna have to cut this probably several times to get it fitting just perfect, but I, I did make a little slice on the front. I didn't wanna go overboard with it, but uh, better than it was in the last picture you saw of it. I'm gonna notch these corners out right here. It looks like it's about where I need to be to meet up with this other flange. Once again, I don't wanna cut out too much, so I'll probably cut out less than I need. But uh, we're gonna keep going like this until we can get it to set down flat. And uh, this here, I was worried about, it looks fine. I think that's gonna be okay. So I'm gonna keep cutting here for a while. Well, with every cut I make, it's fitting a little better. It's um, it's not good yet though, but it's starting to look like it's possible now. I think what I need to do is start up the welder and start tacking it where it's fitting tapping it and beating it around and just um, try to get it solid in a couple spots and see if I can just keep working it until it works. Guys, I got it. I got it pretty close. I'm gonna take it out of the car and see if I can get everything tacked together here, kinda. And uh, make some transitions to go here, I think. And I just keep working with it. But uh, it's not gonna fit perfect, but it's gonna be good enough. So. Uh, 
We're gonna keep going here, guys. Guys, here's what we got. It's not real pretty, but it, it is gonna work. What I like to do when I look at this is, I like to imagine it with carpet over it, you know? Then it looks better. No, but seriously, guys, I get this welded up the rest of the way and take a grinder to it. It'll be good enough. But uh, I'm gonna drop it back down in the car now and see how it looks. and. Gotta go get cleaned up. Gotta go to a birthday party. So this might be about as far as we get today. I'll get you over here in a minute, guys. There it is, setting in place, guys. It's uh, it's not beautiful, but it will look a little better than that when I finish. I got a little more fitment to do. Uh, drill the holes in it for the bolts, welding, grinding, all of that. But that's what it looks like on this side. I don't know if you guys can see good here. I'll show you, I'll show you from the other side. You know, it is what it is. It ain't terrible. So, uh, anyway, guys, uh, I think that's gonna do it for me today. I want to thank all of you for watching. Uh, a big thanks to my subscribers. And uh, I hope to keep getting more. Uh, I like subscribers. But anyway, uh, share with your friends. Tell your friends about it. 
and please comment. That helps my analyticals. And uh, like, push the like button, easy to do. Um, but anyway, guys, I think this is gonna do it for me today. And uh, we'll probably catch you again on Wednesday. Later, guys.